Hello and welcome to the Bullet P Show. I'm your host Bullet P, as you know. Um, it's a quick vlog about the Conor McGregor Mayweather fight. Um, I know it's a bit late, but it's better late than never. Um, so basically, well, first I want to congratulate Floyd for his 50 and 0. Um, I want to congratulate Conor for you know going 10 rounds with the greatest defensive boxer of all time. You know so. Take my hats off to both of them. Great fight. Um, reason why I'm, I'm actually posting late is because pre-fight, you know, interviews that were coming from these boxing analysts and ex-boxers, they were kind of writing off Connor and saying it was a spectacle. You know, it was it was it was a mismatch. It it, it shouldn't it just shouldn't have been allowed to happen. And what was surprising that you know it was it was actually surprising because it weren't it weren't nothing that we weren't gonna expect. We knew Connor was gonna come out different. You know, he's not a typical boxer, you know, that's not his thing. So he weren't gonna come with his typical boxing style. So, you know, but the fact that he went ten rounds, you know, so that kinda put a lot of these um Boxing analyst to to shame that like, you know like just to, to Seckle them to say like look you lot were saying I can't get in the ring you know what I'm saying Floyd's gonna outbox me this that I won't land a punch you know I won't win a round he done totally the opposite and you know a lot of people were eating their words now you know it was one one interview I saw with Tyson saying like just completely writing him off now he can't box. Shouldn't be in the land in the ring. And then after the fight, it was like an interview on a breakfast show, and he was like, "I was surprised. Connor can box. I grade him an A, but he should continue in the UFC where he dominates." You know, um, but a lot of people were surprised. They were like, "Well, no, Connor can box. You know, if he had more experience, yeah, it could be something." But Ultimately, he's a he's a king in the in the UFC, man. No one, no one. He is the superstar in the UFC. So why would you want to, turn, you know, in my eyes, I, I wouldn't. This this fight for me was just a, a you know, it was a a money fight, but also it's for Connor because if if people know what Connor's about, he, he likes to push himself to the next levels, you know, to see what he's capable of doing, you know. And he's a person; he takes it on the chin. He's lost take like you see him. Up, um, post um, fight press conference, took his hat off to me, respect all rounds. You know, he, he, he takes the loss on the chin. You know, he won't try and, oh, no, this, that, oh, I didn't have enough time to train, or, oh, you know what I'm saying? He said, like, you know, if I did have more time, yeah, it would have been, you know, the only thing he was disappointed was with the ref stopping it. You know, and I can understand what Conor was saying. You know, in the UFC, man, they like to go out on their backs, man, flat out. At least let him be dropped down and put down on the canvas, get that ten can, and you know what I mean. It, the ref, me personally, I think the ref should have just let him continue, see if it went to the eleventh round. You, you know what I'm saying? He threat them ten rounds. I didn't see Connor drop once, you know, he didn't go on the floor once, he didn't take a knee, you know what I'm saying, so the fact that the ref stopped it like that, I think it was a bit a bit early, it was an early stoppage for me in my eyes, but it's done and dusted, it's over, you know, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying, so take my hats off to both of them, nah, on another topic, Boxing related as well. Paulie Malinagi. Yeah, yeah, I've, I said it. Paulie Malinagi. Been talking a lot of shit. You know, he's just. He wants this fight with Connor because he knows Connor's the guy now. That's where the money is. You know what I'm saying? People are going to want to fight Connor now because they know he's a payday. Just like how they were fighting Mayweather. Yeah, he was a payday guy. You know what I'm saying? If you're fighting Mayweather, you know you're going to get paid. So now Connor's that guy. If you're fighting Connor, you're gonna get paid. Now, Paulie, 
was talking shit. Like I said, he was talking shit prior six months prior for the, the fight about Connor, saying that you know this guy can't box. You know, saying Connor and um, Paulie could punch, beat him with one hand behind his back with weights on his legs, and he weren't in boxing condition then. You know, so when he come into sparring and Connor. You know, weighed him in. You know what I'm saying? Like, alright, fair enough. We've only got like you know maybe ten seconds of footage, but those ten seconds of footage, man, like your Paulie's face got cracked back. You know what I'm saying? Even when he done a few in it, like the next day he done an interview and he had black eyes and you know cuts and you know what I'm saying? And Paul is a liar, cause you know what? I watched the beginning interviews first after the spot and he was saying, yeah, Connor won the early rounds. He won a few, then Paulie won a few in the middle, you know, and then towards the end, Connor won again. So basically what you're saying is he won most of the rounds throughout the whole 12 rounds. Now, Paulie's coming out of some mad shit, bruv. Like, if, if, if Connor didn't do what he did, why did you leave? You know what I'm saying? Why would you leave? You're talking about conditions, this and that. Come on, man. Like, you didn't want to embarrass yourself even more. That's the reason why you left. Your pride got dented. Now you're attacking other UFC fighters and the sport itself, like, just to try and get Conor out, bruv. But you know what? Conor's too too ahead of the game for you. Now, is there going to be a fight between Paulie and Conor? What can I say? I, I, if they release the 12 rounds of Paulie and Connor sparring, there ain't going to be no fight. Um, however, what I would like to see is Connor, Paulie, in the octagon, four ounce gloves with boxing rules. Yeah? boxing rules, so no elbows no key n- knees, no shin pads, no choke holes no grappling, no submissions boxing rules but with four ounce gloves in the octagon, now I'd like to see that, that's something I would pay for, and the reason why I'm saying that is because that's Connor's, that's Connor's area of expertise, now if he connects with a four ounce glove to Paulie it's like that for Paulie. I'm telling you that now. And that's the only reason why I would want to see that fight. Put him in a boxing ring. You got Paulie. As, you got, there's a chance for Paulie. Let's put it this way. There's a chance for Paulie. You know, not a chance for him to beat Connor, but there's a chance for him not to get flattened out. And I want to see him get flattened out because all that shit he's been talking. But that's that's what I would like to see there's another scenario that you can have you can have you know if Con- if Connor feels that he's that confident that he can beat him and if we're going on what we saw in the sparring footage you know the limited sparring footage that we see I would like to see him take him over to Ireland sell out an arena um, and just fuck him up for 12 rounds you know what I'm saying 12 rounds is fuck him up like it will give, you know, and in, the thing is, Connor would have more time to prepare for the fight, you know. So, <coughs> they're the two scenarios I could see for Paulie and Connor to be fighting. But me heading towards more an octagon scenario, boxing rules, MMA gloves. That way, Connor could just knock him out, you know what I'm saying? Just get him down on the floor, knock him out. Like that, and Paulie's mouth's gonna be like, you know, pss, 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 what? Like, oh no, when it comes in, no. You wanted to fight, that's the fight. You know what I'm saying? So, Paulie, like Joe Rogan said, shut the fuck up. Stop calling out other UFC fighters and trying to provoke shit because you will get your ass whooped by a UFC fighter. Believe it. Um. Another thing that I want to just briefly talk about is Connor's next fight. I think the next fight Connor will be doing would be the Nate Diaz trilogy. Um, 
Connor's already t- said his terms. He said uh, if Nate wants to fight, you're gonna have to come down to 154 because the f- the first two fights were at 170, which was not Connor's. You know, that weren't his weight class. He came up to a weight class. Fought Nate Diaz twice. You know, he got the loss, and then he said, you know what, I'm gonna fight you again at your weight class, and he fought smartly. Because he knew, you know, Connor knew he he couldn't drop um, Nate. He couldn't carry, like you, you're not gonna knock him out. Um, he's a, he, Nate is a fucking tough guy, bro. Like, believe it, he is a tough guy. But as you saw in the second fight, Connor dominated. Like, I don't care what anyone says. Like, Connor dominated. If you watch the first fight and then you watch the second fight, you can clearly see the differences. Connor trained and strategically, strategically planned this fight. You know, he utilized his kicks and he dropped, you know, Nate a few times. You know, he gave him that one bang and he dropped. Another one bang and he dropped. Nate's face was fucked. Connor's was alright. So you know, that's that's the next fight I can possibly see. Um yeah, so on that topic and on that note, don't forget to subscribe, like, you know. So until next time, we listen to the Bullet P Show, Bullet P. Peace.